Hey everybody, it's Monty, and we're back on Mathia. Now, this time we actually have to do some memorizing of equations. So, in this part, we have what's called the slope-intercept form. Okay, so let's write that out. So we're in Mathia. Module 1, Unit 2, Part 3. And we're going to model parallel and perpendicular. Okay? Now here, we have two things that we need to know. Y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and B is the y-intercept, okay? But, in Mathia, they really like us to be able to use this y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now, we're not all in the same place, so this could be difficult for some, but let's give it a try, okay? Where m is the slope and x1 y1 equals a point on the line. Okay, and here's the example. Okay. Alright, so let's say this slope is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the slope is the rise over the run. The rise of 3 and the run going backwards, negative 3, okay? But we know that there's a point right here called 0, comma 3. There's x1, there's y1. So we can actually write that y minus y1, 3, equals the slope, negative 3 over 3, x minus x1, which is 0. Alright? Okay, if you were to simplify this all out, it's going to be y equals negative 1 over 1, x plus 3. Okay? That has the same meaning as that. Okay? I know it can be confusing, but let's give it a try. Step by step. Okay? The slope intercept of QE is given to you. How can you determine the slope of the, okay, the slope from the slope intercept form? The slope is always the M. It's always the number in front of the variable. Okay? And you can click. Alright? And it'll take you to the slope intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. Okay? Y equals 3X plus 4 is written in slope intercept form. The slope of the line is 3. Okay? Alright, so now, step by step. So, the slope of the line QE. Let's move me. QE. So now, let's blow this up here. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5 over 10. But you see it's coming downhill. Negative slope. Negative 5 slash 10. Awesome. Awesome. What does this tell you about the slope of CN? Okay, if C... Like CN and QE. CN, QE. Okay, so wherever this N is going to be, are going to be perpendicular. So a perpendicular line has to be the opposite reciprocal. Okay, so let's shrink this down. Up. So, if the slope is negative one half, the perpendicular will become the opposite reciprocal, and we memorize that. So let's just type in two over one, and we're winners. Now. The slope is 2. You were given the point negative 13, comma, negative 12. What is the slope in the slope-intercept form? So y 
minus a minus 13 equals m, m2 parenthesis x minus a minus 12. Now, I don't think it's going to count it right. Okay, you can use a solver. Use the solver. Okay, so let's try the solver. Okay. Okay. The solver, subtract from both sides. So minus a minus. Okay. Oh, it did take it. It put the parentheses in for us. Awesome. Okay, minus a minus is a plus, so we're going to go minus 13. All right. Rewrite the signs. Okay. Now we're going to distribute the 2 times the x. Combine like terms. And we're good to go. Awesome. Okay. All right. So now our final answer is, uh, what was it? 2x plus 11. Now, for some of you, that's going to be hard. So let's go back to our tools here and write that out. Okay. So we're going to be spending all week on this because this is a skill we got to have. Just balancing the equation. I'm an equal sign. Whatever we have on one side, we got to put on the other. So y minus a minus 13 equals 2x minus a minus 12. Step one, we got to get rid of the minus a minus. What's minus a minus? Plus. Okay, what's minus a minus? Plus. Okay, step two undo the multiplication. You've got to know how to distribute. So in other words, that's x plus 12, x plus 12. We have two of them, right? What's x plus x? 1x plus 1x is 2x. 12 plus 12 is 24. What's 2 times 1x? What's 2 times 1? 2x. What's 2 times 12? 24. So now we have y plus 13 equals 2x minus 24. Balance the equation. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Okay? So we win. That leaves us with a y. It leaves us with an equals. It leaves us with a 2x. Now, 24 minus 13 plus 11. Okay? So hopefully that helped you see how to get that. And we'll do those in class. Okay? Let's go try a problem. All right, so determine the equation of AW in slope-intercept form. AW, and W is going to be 11, 1. The coordinates of A are 11, 1. Okay, and we need a perpendicular, so it's going to come down here somewhere. Okay, all right. So we have the slope of M1 is negative, negative 1 over 1. Okay, so you see the negative 1. I know it's not written there, but there is a 1 there. Well, then, if the slope y equals negative 1 over 1x one minus 2, here's our slope, the perpendicular will become the opposite reciprocal. So flip it. Okay, so it's just going to be positive 1. I always type it in as a fraction. Now we can just write it out. y minus 1 equals slope parenthesis x minus 11. Okay, now we've got to do the math. All we got to do is add 1 to both sides. y equals x minus 10. Okay. Oh, there's a y out there? No. Oh, sorry. Yep. There it is. Okay. Now, how did we do that? If that's a bother, y minus 1 equals x minus 11. Got to keep it balanced. Add 1 to both sides. Add 1 to both sides. We win. y equals x minus 10. Okay? All right. Okay, let's see how many we got. We're going to have a couple more. So let's just look at a nice word money. You can ask for a hint. Okay. 
There's more work to do on this problem. Where? Oh, I didn't hit enter. Oh. Uh. Cool. All right, so x plus 12 going through the point D. It's got to be perpendicular, so the slope of the first one is 1 over 1. The slope of the second one is going to be negative 1 over 1, negative reciprocal. EW is parallel. Oh, throw me a curve, throw me a curve, it's parallel. So y minus 6 equals 1 parenthesis x minus a minus 11. We're happy. Pull up our little sheet over here. Y minus 6 equals x minus a minus 11. Y minus 6 equals x plus 11 plus 6 plus 6. Keep the equation balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. So we're happy. Leaving us with a y. Leaving us with an equals. Leaving us with an x. Add them together. Plus 17. 17. Let's try it. X plus 17. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you in the next video of slope-intercept form. Bye.